Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and this one is on Jet Raka for, of Brain, Brain Attack Wave 2 from Summer 2013, and also my last review for Brain Attack, and also of 2013, of course. <coughs> so on the front, and of course this was only set up the year that came in a box rather than a Ziploc bag, of course, but yeah. So on the front of the box here have the logo logo, Hero Factory logo, Brain Bug in the corner, Brain Attack logo, and picture of Raka, Jet Raka flying right off through Raka Hero City, of course, with Hero Factory in the background, of course, and 3,000 game points for the online game, and age recommendation 8 through 16, so Dubber 44014 has 290 pieces. On the back, him in a standing position, all the features of him, how to use the hero core code for the online app games, of course, but yeah. <clears throat> and now, on to the manual. Same picture as on the front of the box and everything, quite thick, of course. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. Also, first part of which extended version of the Brain Attack comic strip, of course, and how to, what to do with the, that, of course, which carries to this day. That's the back part of which is Add of Lego Club, Add for the uh, Brainify app, and then Add of the uh, Legend of Chima Ultra Build sets, of course. Or build a figure sets for that, which I will do reviews on for future throwback Thursdays. Or for a future or future throwback Thursdays, but yeah. Add for Stormer Stormer and Frost Beast and Dragon Bolt. <coughs> and also game points for the online app games. And all the pieces that come with the set and the last step. So, first of which is uh, Raka himself, or otherwise, fifth version of Raka that we've had up to this point. So, as you can see, tall and little skimpy, since he, of course, is like that to fit this, uh, to fit the jetpack thing, of course. Although, so some bits of him quite similar to that of Raka Breakout, of course, but although some bits are kind of changed as well, like more friction joints added in. Here, I'll zoom in. More friction joints added in. And of course. And same chest plate piece as all the hero sets of this wave, but with the dual lock clamps and all, and also same exact piece that was also used in Breakout, of course, and back part of which, nothing at all going on. And, and of course, also extra long torso piece of which, to of course fit the jet pack, of course. And the head of which, all the same as Rocket in Breakout Wave 1, of course, and, or Brain Attack Wave 1, sorry, and also uh, size 3 armor pieces in gold. Use that shoulder armoring, of course. And if you wonder what these knobs are for, is something for the jetpack, of course. But yeah. <clears throat> so as for a little comparison is with Rocket in Breakout Wave One, of course. You see, good bit taller, and all, and also the dual lock clamps on the chest plate pieces. The colors swapped, of course. So kind of like how Surge is had the tips colored as well, but yeah. You see, it kind of pops out a bit, just like Gresh in Glatorian line, of course. And, of course, both of which still having silver hands, of course, but... Uh, yeah. And also, same armor piece as both have, but used a little differently, of course, and exposed back parts, but 
even though Breakout did kind of fix that with, you know, foot piece on the back, of course, but yeah. So, not sure why I include Raka twice again, but just like in, probably to pay a little homage to uh, Raka XL and Savage Planet, but yeah. And that's it with Raka himself. And now on to the jetpack, which, which I don't see how to stand up here. Maybe I'll just do it held, of course. But yeah. And I see another one of those like blade pieces that uh, some sets of Breakout Brain Attack also well had, but as a standing bit to it. And as you see, built of like mostly Technic to it. Just about like kind of like with the dropship and the bikes or motorcycles of Hero Factory also had. And of course, uh, some of the vehicle sets of Gen 1 bon G Generation 1 Bonicle, of course, but yeah. Of course, this bit acting as a handle, of course. And for this front part of which, as you see, has canopy piece, like some classic uh, Lego stuff. All Most Lego stuff also often had, of course. And have, like brackets and stick extending out to it with some like blue uh, rods to it for Raka to stick onto. And that was these pink connections also for Raka, of course. Uh, anyways, back to this piece. So it has there's lost stickers in this set, and of course, system piece right on here, like we've also seen a recent uh, Monkey Kid set, but in different coloring, of course. Kind of interesting seeing a system piece with the Hero Factory symbol on it, but yeah. And also have one that has caution strip and one that has some arrow that says Raka on it. Not sure why I would say that, but whatever. Although it would have been nice if it, this cotton strip was on both sides. It's of course. It was, uh, yeah. And also the other part of it, which as he had the common technic panels with some, one couples with some stickers on them, and also you get Fantoka Kopaka's a uh, wing piece, and also the same sword piece that uh, Raka in Wave One also had, but. Also on top of that are the Springle Launch, or I mean Flick Fire missiles with the Baraki eye pieces on them, of course. And the top part is just single uh, armor piece in white for some reason, not sure why. And also do you get the like two uh, meteor launchers like we've seen in Breakout, of course, and that you launch hard like so. And of course, this is which only set in Breakout to ever use the so which, but they did make a slight return in Invasion from Below, of course. And on the back part of which, larger panels and with some stickers on them and 3.01 for some reason. And of course, just like the, uh, what's it called, dropship set once did. Is how to use the power miner wheels for thrusters, of course. And now, how to get Raka in this, of course, is flip this up and get these pins and attach them to a couple of holes on his back. Of course, with his arms extended. attached to there and of course and then get his uh, hands out and attach to the blue bit pins to there and then uh, close the can down over him unless if you had the dual lock clamps all the way in Yeah, there, got it. Now all suited up and ready to take out Dragon Bolt, of course. Or at least knock the brain bug off of Dragon Bolt, of course, which happens in the Nickelodeon special, obviously. And of course, good that they included this blade piece on here to help it 
all balanced out, kind of tripod-ish. Uh, what else is there? And also, I do like use of this piece here, although without the tile piece on here, which you can definitely use on some classic space mocks if you want, and yeah. So now, on to the final verdict. So overall, he, I think, is a quite cool set for uh, this time, of which, although the price per piece, quite atrocious, of like 290 pieces for $40, which kind of weak. But whatever, maybe it's because of the like size for price. Also good for that, quite good for that range. But yeah. But also, not sure why let Raka have this when uh, let, let either Nex or Stringer do so, which I think could have been a lot better. But maybe that's just me. But although, unlike what Jang Bricks did in one of his older videos, is modify this for Nex, of course. But yeah. But also, do get plenty of good white technic pieces for that, of course. And also, Raka, which, which may have been kind of lack skimpy for that, but of course, it's modded to fit that, this uh, jetpack, of course. But also get plenty of good, uh, some good firing action on it. So it's good for taking out both Dragon Ball and most of the other villain sets, of course, but yeah. And so now, if you, know, if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of him. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, I'd say definitely pick him up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.